guys, it's Whiskey Bloke, and you're just in time for another Dram Good review. <clears throat> so, what have we got to review this time? Well, this time, quite simply, we're going to have a look at a very, very, very nice whiskey. Ooh, well, actually, all whiskey's quite nice, isn't it? I suppose one of the uh, the best whiskies has to be the free one. But the whis the, the, yeah, the whiskey I'd like to review comes all the way from Scotland. <laughs> yes, you heard that correct. This is Glenfiddich. Okay, there's a few ways to pronounce Glenfiddich. It's that way. Then there is Glenfiddich, Glenfiddich, putting emphasis on the CH. Um, and then there's Glenfid, D, CH is silent. I prefer the way I say it, Glenfiddich. Now, 18 year, small batch reserve, carefully matured for 18 years in the finest Oloroso sherry and bourbon casks, built by our Expert Coopers. Is that like a, is that like a family name or? These casks are then nurtured in small batches for a further three months for a remarkably deep, rich and complex favour. Flavour, not favour. I suppose it is a favour. It gave, yeah, I'll do you a favour. What's that? Let you try this. Oh, cheers, guys. But the idea is that this this is uh, this is going to be nice. The reason I know it's going to be nice is because. Oh look, took the bottom out with it. That's pretty cool. It's got legs. Uh, the reason I know it's going to be nice is because these guys have won. Uh, I believe it's still correct in saying they've won more awards than the than the other. Um, Scotch uh, single malt. I believe that's correct. It's beautiful in terms of its bottling, colouring, etc. And the, uh, I mean, the bottle itself is just, you know, it says enough with the way it is. So we'll take out that. There we go. Look at that. That's nice. There we are. I'm going to rest that there. Get a nice shot of that. Put it there. Look at that. There you go. Took a few attempts to get that there, but we got it in the end. So, what we'll do is we'll pour ourselves a little wee dram into this glass. And there she goes. And that is going to be what we go through right now. We're going to nose it. Or oh, after we've nosed it, well, what are we going to do? Well, nosing a whiskey helps me to get to know a whiskey. <laughs> and then after we've done all of that, we'll palatise it. Then we'll finish it. Oof, there'll be lots of us to talk about, to, to share with each other. Exciting, 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 exciting. Um... Just letting it breathe for a bit. Try and fill the time while it breathes. Mm. My neighbour, the other day, uh, he knocked my door. And started, it was like two in the morning, hammering on my door. So I go down, obviously, I'm thinking, oh, problem, what's this about? And he basically starts talking to me about how he can't sleep. He just shifts, you know? So I'm there, like, okay, that's very interesting. Cheers, mate. I shut the door. I think, that's quite selfish. I could have been asleep right there. Luckily, I wasn't. I was still up practicing the bagpipes. But the cheek of it, you know, he was lucky he didn't wake me because I need my sleep. 
Ah, dear. Anyway. Golden is the colour. Very nice. Nice colour. Oh! Going to be a lot on this, I can tell already. I can tell. I remember from from memory it was quite rich. So, not financially, just like in terms of... Anyway, let's review it and see what we get. Mmm. 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 So it's quite fruity. Lots of fruit in there. Fruit is in green apple, pear. Grapefruit. When I was younger, it's relevant. My mum, <coughs> she used to like cut a grapefruit in half with her hand. No, with a knife. And she used to cut it in half and then like have half like that. Skin down. Pour, I think it was honey, over it. Pop it in the microwave for a certain amount of time. And go, there, yeah, that'll give you what you need for the day. So... There you go. It didn't give me what I needed for the day. The school was painful, to say the least. Anyway, the reason I mentioned grapefruit. Grapefruit. Told you, relevant. It links up. Opening it up more. Bear in mind, this is 40%. Yeah, 40%. The snoring is pugsy, so... There it is. We good? Not that done. Apples develop into like a toffee apple. Mm. I think it's trying to seduce me. Notes of cinnamon. So subtle. It might be me getting the apple confused. How do you like them apples? <laughs> that doesn't really tie in. Don't worry about that. We'll come back to that. I do this when I'm in public because I don't want people to know what I'm doing. I want to say white chocolate. So I'm going to. White chocolate. Haha. <laughs> no, I think there's white chocolate there as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. So now, I think it should be rather... I'll go back to the nose, obviously, see what else I get. But I kind of want to go on to the, uh, the palette. Mmm. You could lose track of time picking up the flavours on that. Remember, when you're tasting a whiskey, the more you give it in time, the more it will give you in aromas and flavours that come out when you're doing your tasting notes. You're making note throughout and deciding, oh, do I recommend this whiskey? Do I think it's great or not? In this case, I'm going to say great because there was so much in there. On the palate, straight away... I mean, going back to what we got in the nose, there was pear, there was apple. They were there on the palate, and they were quite obvious as well, very early in. It very much a case of, Max, 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 we're here, we're here again. Pear and apple, we're back together. 
Um, they're very fruity. I'd say there's like there's dried fruits in there. Uh, perhaps like um, dried apricot. I need some more. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> There's definitely a spice to it on the palate. I'm hoping it's going to be found on the nose. Anyway, I need some more on the palate, so bottoms up, as they say. The combination of both allows me to bring out the peppery, like black pepper on the nose and uh, it enhances the toffee within the palate and the, uh, the fruitiness I was getting before as well. That's very much, it, 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 it's a lot more, of, it, it's more obvious, that's, that's the correct way of saying it. Uh, it's more obvious on the palate, so, oh, very nice. Uh, mentioned toffee apple on the nose. There's toffee on the palate. It's quite sweet in that sense. It's a very, like, it's a good, solid kind of like toffee to it. Sherry as well is coming more into it as we develop this further. I think, I think I speak for a few. When you know what casks it comes from, you, you deliberately, you make an effort to not notice that straight away. Um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't actually try to ignore the sherry first time I was tasting this but I've only really started picking it up just now on the second taking but you know I'm imperfect like everyone so sue me uh, in terms of the finish it's a good length finish it's quite nice good length um, very pleasant yeah very pleasant yeah um, there's, there's a lot more fruit on the finish, I'd say more like fruit peel. So the, the, the kind of like the, the texture, the taste you get afterwards isn't the fruit itself, it's the peelings from the fruit. That'd be the best way to explain it. That's very much there on the finish. Uh, what else do I get? Like a saltiness to it on the finish. Maybe like salty yet sweet. Salted toffee. Why not? We, we've given toffee everything else. Let's give it this as well. Greedy. So yeah, so with toffee as well. Um, I quite like the combo. The Oloroso Sherry and Bourbon does actually really help with this nice flavouring that we get from this. In terms of like a, a brief summary, I'd say that this has to be... Uh, how would I... Oh, doesn't really give me much there on the back. I'd say that it was very rich, very sweet. Yeah, that would be my brief summary. Very rich and very sweet. Glenfiddich 18 could easily be a whiskey that you go back to regularly. Um, it's probably the price that would stop you from drinking it all of the time. Well, I don't know how big your wallet is, you know. Might be a massive wallet, you know. I'll get this one, lads. <laughs> Get some money out of that. There we are. Close the wallet again. I don't know, that was supposed to be a big wallet or whatever. Um, summary time. Let's go for the summary. Let's cover this off because there's a lot to talk about. So, Oloroso, Sherry and Bourbon. It's Glenfiddich, 18 year old. Beautiful. Let's just say that. Originally, uh, towards the end of the whole tasting note review, uh, I said it was very rich, very sweet. And here's why. On the nose, that's what we started with. Oh yeah, we didn't go straight to the finish with the nose. So summary of the nose would be that we got uh, various fruits 
like apple and pear and grapefruit because I told the story of my mum and a grapefruit. What's that? You want to know the story? You should have watched the whole video. Your loss. So apple, pear, grapefruit. It moved into like a sweeter kind of apple, a toffee apple. Boom! Oh yeah. Then we mentioned bits of cinnamon, but I said I might be getting carried away with the apple there. So maybe, maybe not. And then... White chocolate. Oh yeah, white chocolate. Uh, then we said we'll come back to that in a minute. We'll go to the palette. So we went to the palette, palette street. Hey, how's it going? It was fruity again, but it was more like dried apricot kind of fruit. There was apple and pear again. Straight away, noticed them pretty much from the outset as soon as I put it on the tongue. It was toffee. Then we took another and a at the same time. And in doing so, it made the notes that we got originally on the, lo on the nose a lot more in your face. They came back. And it also brought out some of like the black pepper because there was an element of spice on the palate. And I wanted to see if I could bring it out on the nose. And it definitely brought that out that time with it in my mouth, still nosing it at the same time. After that, I noticed towards the end of the palate, we started to get the sherry influence. No brainer, really. Written on the tin. Uh, and then we went to the finish, which kind of gave us a good length finish. You know, good in terms of what we spent. Um, lots of fruit peels, kind of aftertaste as it were, fruit peel-ish, uh, and it was quite salty and sweet, and I said, why not give salted toffee a shout? So we did, salted toffee, that's how you do it, in it, lads? So, yeah, there you have it, that's my review of Glenfiddich 18. So, yeah, it's funny, I was talking to um, a customer uh, today, about, you know, school. I hated school. Absolutely hated it. I got, I had a real tough time. I mean, I had a real tough time. I was picked on quite a lot. Um, I remember on a school trip, there was a bully, the, the you know, main bully, quite a big kid. Kind of kind of kid, you could just tell parents didn't care what he got up to. Real bully. And he'd hurt you. He did hurt quite a punch. Quite, you know. Anyway, so kid was giving everybody a hard time and in the end he said I won't take your lunch money I won't um, beat you up for whatever terminology it was if you um, throw the cow pat at um, Timmy it was a school trip thing so you know and after you've done that you have to kiss that sheep and, I mean, he was relentless. He was on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. So I, I had no choice, and I, I gave in to the peer pressure. Very, very ashamed to say it. But, you know, I did get the last laugh, in a sense, because a couple of weeks later, I waited for him to be on his own, and I absolutely smacked him on, like, proper laid him out. And very shortly after that, I lost my job as a teacher. So, absolutely hated school. Won't be going back there. Ridiculous. But I enjoy what I do now, so every cloud. And it gives me time to do whisker reviews for you guys. <sighs> so, yeah, hope you enjoyed that um, as much as I did. Fantastic. Uh, I've been Whiskey Bloke. You've been the YouTube audience. And this has been another dram good review. Like this video, subscribe. Say it faster so it makes you want to do it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you on the next video.